Today I want to talk about the coming February 25, 2023 presidential elections. Yesterday, Monday, August 15, 2022, an activist was on social media and he said that um, Bola Tinubu was going to win the elections. And you know, a lot of people were carried away with that. There was some buzz around that. But let's focus on what cannot lie. Let's focus on the facts. If you look at the facts now, what are the facts? The voter registration numbers. Yes, the Southwest has done better than all, all other zones in um, the CVL continuous voter registration. As a matter of fact, Lagos has overtaken Kanu as the single largest concentrator of votes. But that's not the only fact. If you want to look at the facts, you also look, have to look at voter turnout. The highest voter turnout in Nigeria from the 2019 presidential elections were from the Northwest. Now, in the 2019 elections, you saw that uh, the People's Democratic Party candidate Atiko Abubakar, he got something like 11 million votes, slightly over, you know, and those votes are, for the most part, going to remain intact in the north, especially. In the southeast, yes, there is uh, the possibility, the strong possibility that there's, he's not going to get as much vote as he got the other time. However, there's one other thing that's happening here. General Muhammad Buhari is not running. So a lot of the votes that he missed out on in the north, especially in the northwest and the northeast, are going to be coming to him. The running mate of uh, Bola Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the APC, is from the northeast. He's from, uh, will I say, uh, 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 almost a majority tribe in the northeast. He's Kanuri. Now, there are tribal factors at play. There shouldn't be, but there are tribal factors at play in the north. You know, this gentleman cannot, you know, get out the votes the way Muhammad Buari can. He doesn't have the spread in the north. And another candidate in the north, Rabbi Musa Kwankwaso, you know, yes, he's big in Kanu, but we've seen that there's not so much excitement for his candidature. So the votes in the northwest and the northeast, and you know, a huge chunk of the north central as well, are going to go for Muhammad, are going to go for um, Waziri Atiko Abubakar. Now, if you look at the south, the votes in the southwest, like in Lagos, generally the Lagos votes have always been shared 60 to 40, 60 in favor of the APC, and then before that the ACM, and 40 in favor of the PDP. So we're going to get a huge vote in the PDP uh, from the Southwest, Lagos in particular, Ibadan also. Uh, one of the things you have to know is that the wife of uh, Waziri Atiko Abubakar, who was the second lady from, 20, from 1999 to 2007, you know, Haji Atiti Abubakar is from Oshun State and she is a politician. She's not a stay-at-home wife, she's a strong politician. So we're going to get a huge chunk of votes. I'm not saying we're going to get a majority. No, we're not going to get a majority, but we're going to get a huge chunk of votes in the Southwest. So, southern votes are going to be split between the PDP, the APC, and Labour Party in the Southeast. But northern votes, by and large, are going to go almost en bloc to Waziri Atiko Abubakar. So, there is absolutely no way anybody like Bola Tinubu can pull um, a stunner and emerge as the presidential, as the president, or after the election. No. You know, it's going to be, if you look at the numbers, you know, yes, Lagos has uh, the, the largest concentration of votes, but how many people in Lagos come out to vote? How many people? You know, uh, if you look at the last election, the, and the voter turnout in the Southwest was about, I think it was about 2.8%. You know, in the Northwest, the voter turnout was something like 3 point, I think it was 3.6%. So we're seeing that a lot of people, a lot more people come out to vote in the Northwest. The lowest voter turnout was in the Southeast. And then this time around, it looks to be even worse because of the shenanigans being pulled by IPOB, uh, ECN, Ebubeyagu, and a num number of other people. For instance, in the Southeast today, you can't even do a lot of things on Monday because it's a seat at home. So I see this election comfortably being won by Waziri Atiko Abubakar. You know, and I'm not doing this because of bias or because of anything. I'm looking at the facts. Voter numbers, when you talk about votes, you talk about Lagos, you talk about Kanu, Jigawa, Sokoto, Kaduna, Katsina. Those are where the votes are going to come from. Other than Lagos, all these other places I've called, Kanu, Jigawa, Katsina, Kaduna, Sokoto, are going to go for Waziri Atikovaka. Those are the facts. Thank you for watching and God bless you.